Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a prospect lead on Salesforce. Now this is quite important because say for example a customer comes in for a pay as you go SIM card. Now you try and cross sell cable to them, however they've just arrived in the UK so they don't really have a property that they're moving in yet, but they will be in a couple of weeks time. So what we can do here is create a prospect lead um, so you can give the customer a call back in two weeks time for a much better customer experience and obviously generating extra cable sales for yourself. So simply go into prospects and create a new prospect. Now in here um, you can take down the customer's details so simply just pop in the name so let's just say for example Mr Richard Branson. So pop in his name and you can also pop down his phone number as well of course um, so that's usually the preferred contact method. Um, if he's coming for a page go sim card it's quite easy obviously just take down that number um, so just pop in the living digit okay now after that you can ask the customer what the best preferred method of contact would be um, generally by phone would probably be best but you can also pop down an email address as well so in this case we'll just put phone and a preferred date to contact as well so if the customer is not moving in for you know in two weeks time what we can do is we can set a preferred date to contact in on the 14th so that gives the customer a bit more time and um, so before he moves in a couple of days you can give him a call and see what the situation is once you pop that in um, you can you have to pop down a preferred time to contact so whether it's morning afternoon or p.m. so in this case we'll just put afternoon so 11 to 2 p.m. and that that completes that uh, part of the process. You can then scroll down onto the additional comment box. Now this box is quite useful. You can put down additional comments for yourself to remind yourself why you created this lead. So you can pop down here say customers not moving in for two weeks so just contact him to speak about cable. You can also put down customers interests as well so for example what sort of activities he likes. So when you do contact the customer in a couple of weeks it could uh, you can use it as a conversation piece and start building rapport and um, giving a much better customer experience um, from the get-go. So once that is done and um, you can scroll down a little bit more if the customer does have a bit more time at the time you can also ask him about some household information. So what sort of services he will be looking for when he does move in is it just TV is it just broadband so if it's just like for example is TV and broadband you can pop down obviously how many TVs he's got in the house how many computers he has um, so then when you do call them back, you have all those extra information already. Once you've completed this, just simply save on the top right. Oops, sorry. So just pop and save. And the prospect's created. Now what you need to do now is create a reminder for yourself. So click on new task, which is a little tick at the bottom. And now create your prospect lead. So what you do is under task type is follow up with prospect and task due date. So the due date will be obviously the date that you agreed with the customer, so that'll be the 14th. And obviously check the rota to see what time you're in on that date um, and set a time for the Salesforce to remind you. So let's just say in this case, nine in the morning. Once that's done, team assigned to is yourself, which is retail. And you can also put in extra comments there if you wish. You don't have to because you've already done that previously. Once that's done, just simply save it and that's your prospect lead created. So now on the day um, when you do need to contact the customer, simply go into my tasks. So that's at the bottom underneath apps. Let's go into my tasks and it will show up. And there it is, Mr. Richard Branson, along with all your other leads as well. Just simply click on that and I'll have all the information you need um, and the number that you need uh, to call them. Obviously you can pop into related and that will show him obviously what things you've spoke about with him as well. Um, and that's it. Thank you.